Hello all and welcome again back to another episode of Interesting Tools in Nina. And my name is Chris, you're watching Chris's Observable Universe. And let's start right off with this next tool. What do I have today for us? Well, it's the uh, great plugin tool Exposure Calculator by Stefan Berg. And um, you can find it here in the plugin section. And in order to have those plugins ready, you need to use the uh, Nina beta version, I think it is. Um, yeah, here on top I am using the beta version. If you don't use, uh, if you just use the stable one or like the official releases, then you won't be, uh, you won't have those plugin um, toolbar. So then you can search it here, you can install it. I've already installed it. You can read the description if you um, have a choose to do so. But mainly um, you can go into the imaging tab where you can find it. And on the top right, you have your tools and it's the one with the calculator. So unclick it and click, click it back here. And um, then we see this main overview here. Um, it's also compatible with the sharp cap analysis. So if you have, uh, if you performed an analysis on your camera sensor via sharp cap, then you can use those results um, in order, oops, there's a little uh, fly here. Um, then you can uh, use the sensor data from this analysis uh, here uh, in order to match your exact sensor. Uh, but it usually, or well, in order to do so, you have to use the paid version of Sharp Cap, um, at least to get like the data. Right. So um, let's start off. Uh, maybe before we begin, um, quick explanation. I've got my Newton telescope outside, and I've already done something um, for the bias calculation. So I don't need to. Well, I, I'm just gonna explain it. Um, so first we can set an exposure time. I would recommend not to, to um, make it too short because you need to uh, measure the sky glow background. So, um, I, I, well, let's go with 30 seconds something or 60 seconds. Um, filter, you can, um, if you have a filter wheel, um, then you can choose uh, whichever filter you want to image with. Again, I will leave it at my typical 111. Again, it's approximately uni unity gain. Uh, well, I don't have sharp cap sensor analysis data, so I'll leave that empty. And now let's focus on the last line here first. So um, here um, the median bias value can be used. And in order to well obtain this value, it's quite simple. You just have to cover your sensor or cover your telescope, and then let uh, click this button, and um, it will take a picture, a quick picture. And based off this picture, um, the tool will calculate the median bias value, which I already did. That's what I wanted to mention earlier. So just uh, I already put the lid on the scope and did this quick bias capture. Then you see it um, returned me this value here. And then you have two more values you need to fill. So the first one is the full well capacity. This is uh, a specification of your camera as well as the read noise in electrons. And for that, you can just go here to your manufacturer. For me, it's the ZWO um, 183 MC Pro in color here you can see. And then you can go at specifications and you will uh, obtain it. Um, where is it here? Full well capacity 15 kilo electrons and um, 1 to 1.5 to 3 um, electrons read noise. So that's what we have here. And then we go back into Nina. You see I've already entered the values. So 15,000 um, full well electrons. And uh, I choose two, maybe we can go with three, maybe. And um, then just hit um, capture image and it will take an image. Of course, you should be pointing roughly at um, a direction you want to 
um, actually shoot later on. Um, it, it makes no sense to shoot in like the opposite direction or maybe close to the moon and then actually you're way off at another angle. So it makes sense to go uh, at least into the rough direction where you actually want to wanna shoot uh, during the night. I see the time is ticking away here. We're getting the image here. Currently I'm well at Boat's Galaxy. And um, you see with those settings, um, well it's rather short actually. <laughs> For me the recommended exposure time, 7.7 .7 seconds. But um, I guess it's because we almost have a full moon and uh, it's very bright outside. So. That will be the reason. But there you have it. It's a um, scientific calculation <laughs> for your um, very own sensor. And um, you can take this value and go with it. Have a try and see if it works for you. Um, it weighs out the um, readout noise versus the thermal noise. And of course, it also takes the current uh, background illumination into account. If you want to know more about it, um, you can go again here in plugins and have a full read here. Here's the formula. Uh, it's based off the sharp cap um, formula down here. So if you want to further read into it, um, you can check out this section here with the formula as well. Well, all credits to the tool go to Stefan Berg here. <laughs> and uh, so far I actually quite enjoyed this tool. So that's so much it for me, from my side. If you enjoyed it, well, please um, recommend this video or uh, write me a nice comment and um, appreciate all the feedback and have a nice day still and uh, keep imaging guys. So wishing you clear skies. Chris out, see ya.